Hi everyone, welcome to week two of Spark and Stem's virtual experiment series. My name is Kubi and today we'll be doing the invisible ink experiment. By doing this experiment, you can channel your inner detective and write secret codes and messages for others. So the materials you'll need for this experiment are a lime or lemon, a spoon, a knife, a bowl, a blank piece of paper, a couple of Q-tips, and something hot like an iron. So for the first step, take your lime and cut it in half. When using the knife, make sure you're doing it under parental supervision. Take your lemon and squeeze it into the bowl. Now, grab a Q-tip and your solution, dip your Q-tip in the solution and write a message onto your piece of paper. Once you're done writing your message, wait for the solution on the paper to completely dry. To read your secret message, you're going to have to heat up your piece of paper under something very hot, like an iron. Be very careful when you do this as the iron does get very hot. As you heat up your paper, you'll start to see your message coming through. Be patient because this might take a while. Once you're done, you'll see your message appear on the paper. So what was happening while you were heating it up? Well, lemon juice is a substance that oxidizes and turns brown once it's heated up. So you'll see wherever the lemon or lime ended up on the paper, it turned brown due to it being oxidized. Other substances that work like this include orange juice, honey, milk, onion juice, and vinegar. Such invisible ink can be produced through chemical reactions or looking at specific liquids under ultraviolet or otherwise known as UV light. Please complete the form located in the description box below to be entered in a draw to win a prize. All you need to do is upload a photo or video of you performing this experiment and answer all the questions. If you complete and submit all the forms for each experiment by August 29th, you will get a very special shout out in our very last video. Remember, the more experiments you do, the greater a chance you have for winning a prize as each form is an additional name in the draw. Also, if you haven't already, check out last week's inverted balloon experiment. Have fun! So this is the end of our second experiment for our series. Make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and fill out the form in the description below. I hope you guys had fun, and make sure to come back next week for another experiment. Bye!